No, don't, don't assume that. Let's take a step back with a six-sided die. I need a three-sided die. I need a three-sided die. They don't make a three-sided. Well, they do. They're just really expensive. They're like forks of the mark. They're actually gorgeous. But let's suppose I'm broke, which is not hard to believe. How do I turn this into a three-sided die? Talk to me! Uh, since there are six sides, you could say two sides are A, two sides are B, and two sides are C. Exactly! And you can arrange them any way you want to. You can call sides one and two the first side, sides three and four the second side, and sides five and six the third side. Then, and I, if you follow the math on the first page, A, B, and C, thank you, Ellie, for pointing this out, I explained that one third of the time, sides one and two are gonna fall. There, one fell just right there. So that's, that's the idea is, we don't have a five-sided die, but is there, are there any dice in this pack that we could use as a five-sided die? Ten-sided? We have a vote for the ten-sided die! Son of a, yes! We like this, yes? Let's grab a ten-sided die. That's this one right here. These are also the ones you roll when you're buying chicken to see if you get a rooster, just so you know. More on that later, more on that later. Okay, there's a ten-sided die. I need five sides. How do I assign the sides? How do I assign the sides, my friends? Which should, which should side A be? Two of each number. Two of each number! So one and two will become A. Three and four will become B. Five and six will become Seven and eight will become, and nine and ten will become. I didn't hear that one. Oh, thank you, E. So you just double them up. Take two sides and that becomes one side. Now I know it's not physically five sides, but it acts like five sides, yeah? You could even do something crazy, like you could make a six-sided die, or hell, a ten-sided die. Suppose you need a coin. This is a release, this is a stretch. Suppose you need a coin, but all you've got is a 10 sided die in your pocket. Stupid, because nobody actually carries this around except dorks like me. <laughs> but could you turn this into a coin? No. Yeah. Yes! What is a coin? A uh, how many sided die? Two. It's a two sided die. That's all a coin is. You never thought of it like that, did you? Of course you didn't. It was a coin, but it's really a two sided die. A die, a coin, those are random number generators. They're a way to generate random numbers. So yeah, coins are heads and tails, right? Heads and tails. But really, that's just one and two, or A and B. We call them heads and tails because we've been indoctrinated with the Federal Reserve. And we use it to buy things. And for some reason, they have a head side and a tail. I don't know why the hell they have that. Probably because of the NFL, or whatever the hell was around when we started putting heads and tails on things. Tell me how to make a 10-sided die into a coin. Give me one way. Make one through five be heads, and make six through ten be tails. Oh, Nika, if I may, this one starts at zero and ends at nine. So how about we go zero through four? The count, make sure you do zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Half of them, half of them. The nine isn't eight. Go ahead. I was going to say, but the nine is the no, but, but zero is. Oh. Ah, very good, Maddie. That was wonderful. Thank you. Give me, give me, give me. I was just going to ask. Did you hear Nine is not an even number, and it sounds weird because there's too many odd numbers, right? You've got one, three, five, seven, nine as odd numbers, and then you only have two, four, six, and eight as even. But don't forget, zero to even. Before I choke on that. Okay, but knowing that, could you attribute the heads and tails differently? Make all the... Evens B, A, and all the. Yes, all the odds be B. There you go. There's a bunch of different ways you can do it. Good. Okay. Don't put number four. In your mouth. Use a different die to make a five-sided coin. Okay. Go back and look at the, look at your options on the on page one. Look at your options on page one. What's the other coin you could have used for five sides? you a 20-sided coin describe it for me how could you break up a 20-sided coin and make it a a now let me look at 20 sided. i think 20 actually starts yeah no it's, i thank you for asking i was gonna i think a 20-sided coin actually starts with one and goes to 20 if that makes sense yeah. 
Wait, okay. Am I so number three on? We're number four now. I'm making you repeat number three, okay. but using a different coin. Okay. By the way, it helps fabulous with the little sparkles and I love it. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Okay, now. 20 side coin, smallest number is one, biggest number is 20. Somebody give me the breakdown for a five sided coin. Jenna, go. One through 10 on one side, two. And then 11 through 20 on the other? Yeah. That would be a two sided coin. I want a four sided coin. I want a four sided die. Remember, we're trying to break this up into a four. Is it four or five? I've forgotten now. Five. five. I'm sorry, it's five. I want a five sided coin. So one through what? Here, check it out. Let's write, instead of conversation, let's write this down. We, we need it. We're doing number four, which is a five-sided coin. Here are your sides on a 20-sided die. Uh, I gotta turn the camera. I'm gonna go over here, actually. Let me just can see it better. Okay, hang on, hang on, peeps. We got this, we got this. Get you. Here we go. Here are your side options. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I need a five. This is chair. I need a five-sided coin. What's side A gonna be? One through four. One through four? You would just you would just count by four, so then because four times five is twenty. Say that again. Four times five is twenty. So what Amelia just figured out is kind of the pattern of these problems, yes? If you need a five-sided coin, that means you have to take the 20 numbers you have and break them into groups of four, because she's made the connection between the division and the numbers you need. Divide the 20 up evenly. There's your first group of four. There's your other group of four. There's your third group of four. There's your fourth group of four. And there's your fifth group of four. Notice how they all have the same number of sides in each group? That's what makes it a fair coin. That's what makes it a fair coin. Amelia, well said. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. We buying this, people? Does it make sense? Maybe? Okay. Me answering that question right now, my friend. I'm going to zoom this camera because my nose is probably huge right now. I mean, it's already huge, but Jessica doesn't need to see that. Okay, go ahead, my friend. No, no, go ahead. Your face said I have a question, but I could have misread it. So I said one fifth plus one fifth. You said one fifth plus one fifth equals two fifth, which is okay. Four equals one fifth. But which one are you looking at, my friend? Which one are you? Are you looking at four again? Three. Three. Okay. I did the same thing before, so. So when you say what does one fifth mean? When you say when you write one over five. Oh. Oh, you're trying to replicate this over here. Yes. I love it. So, which so which so die are you looking so, at? Um, okay, so I did 10. So, so each like face 10. is actually not one fifth, but one tenth. So, but I got one tenth plus one tenth. Equals? Tenth. Which equals? One fifth. Yes. That's exactly what you, go ahead. So this is what I was doing. So I was like, just changing the denominator and just putting a one. Of each of those sides. I love it. So That's great. And that would also work here. It would. It, check it out. You ready for this? Yeah. What are each... Oh, thank you for this. This is such a good question. What are each one of these on the 20-sided die? One out of how many faces? Don't overthink it. 20. One out of 20. Because there's 20 sides on the die. So this is one out of 20. That's one out of 20. Ready for this? That's one out of 20. And that's one out of 20. Yes? Add them together. What do you get? For 20ths. Remember, this is why I love this homework, because it forces us to remember our fractions. If you add a bunch, pretend it's not 1 20th. Call it something else. It's a cat. That's one cat, that's one cat, that's one cat, and that's one cat. If you add them all together, what do you got? Four cats. Four cats. You see what you just did right there? You just brought the cat along. A 20th is the same thing as a cat, or a dog, or a coffee, or an algae, or a shoes. It's just one thing. So a 20th is just a division, but it's the same as any other, it's a noun, just like anything else. If you add a bunch of the same nouns together, you have that many of those nouns. Is that fair? So when you add 1 20th plus 1 20th plus 1 20th plus 1 20th, what do you got? Four 20th. 20th. Thank you. And Nika, what is four 20th the same as? 
Two, which is the same as? You got it. You see it's the same thing? Okay, so I don't have to change it to this. I mean, as long as that makes sense to you and you can realize how to break up a 20-sided die, I'm down. Okay. Yeah, as long as that means, look, make peace with it is what I'm getting after here. <laughs> okay. Is that fair? Okay. Good. Your face looks more relaxed now. You looked about three minutes ago. It's like, oh, let's get that question answered. I want that question answered. Cool? We buying this? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Jenna? Um, number five. Yes! Let me look at number five. Explain why that... Okay, let, let, let me read the ah uh, part again. We're going to use two-sided coin. Ah, so I want a die that will come up with two options. One is three times as likely as the other. Let's make sure we understand what that means. Three times as likely as the other. So I said, take the four-sided coin, which is pissing me off because I can't find the damn thing. I know I have them somewhere. I just think that's what happens when I drop them. Take a four-sided die, and I said, call one, two, and three heads, and call four tails. Why does that work? Why does that work? How do you know that that gives you three times as likely to call heads as tails? Walk me through the fraction. Listen to what Nika just said. She actually answered this back at number four. over here. Yes, they're all having one fourth of the time. But the way I've defined them here is I'm calling all of these heads, yes? And I'm calling this one tails. Is this okay so far? So these all equal heads. And so if I add them together, what do I get? Three fourths, yes? Three fourths. And this one is still one fourth. You see how there's three times as many fourths here as there are here? That means you're going to get heads three times as often as you get tails. That's why it works. You got it. I know where the two came from. You mentioned three halves. You want there to be two options. Right. But just because there's two options doesn't mean the denominator is going to be two. As a matter of fact, the denominator never will be two unless both options are the same likelihood. Does that make sense, Nika? Yeah, I just said one. But that's more than one. I got you. I got you. Just make sure you see the difference between three over two and three fourths. One of them is bigger than one, right. and one of them is less than one. Okay. And less than one, less than one is the only thing that makes sense because these have to add up to one. If they add up to more than one, your die is rigged, and they will they will beat you up in Vegas trying to play with such a die. Okay, I'm that's confused. the reason in Math 58. That's okay. I'm confused about like yes. why. Yes. Well, oh, sure, sure, sure. Wait, what's can, what part is confusing? The the, 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 the one twentieth. Just everything, I guess. Like how. Be more specific. Wait. Does the one twentieth make sense? And over here, the one fourth, because they operate on the same principle, kind of. This is a 20-sided die, my friend, okay. which means every face comes up 1 20th of the time. Okay. Is, that, is that fair? Yeah. You're buying it. Okay, same thing over here with the, with the 1 4th. It's a four-sided die. If it was a six-sided die, the fraction would be? 1 6th. If it was a 10-sided die, the fraction would be? If it was a 12-sided die, I'm missing one. If it was a 12-sided die, the fraction would be? Okay. Is this fair? Are we buying this? Okay, makes sense. Just yeah. got this. Makes okay. sense. Okay, good. Good, thank you for that question. It's fantastic. I appreciate that question. Jenna! What's, what's up? Come here. Uh, well, just ask it out loud because I want everybody to hear it. I just, no. So. I am not a selfish instructor. We are all learning together here. This is. So, I understand we're supposed to go this way, but is there anything You don't have to. No, that's totally fine. Yes! You I do not. That's I okay. That's Jenna, if I may paraphrase what you just said, which is important. You do not have to do it my way. You never have to do it my way. I was confused, and so I went, well, since I saw the answer this way, but I you want know, you like, to think back I'm probably of the first wrong. day of class and the second day of class when I said exactly, I'm going to show you ways to do it. You don't have to do it my way. 
How many methods did we start on the first day of class with all the proportions? Four. At least four, maybe even more. I only typed up two, and I think number two had a subset. This does not sound like somebody who wants you to do it one way, does it? No. And that goes throughout this course. You do not have to do it my way. You find a way that makes sense to you, and I'm a happy guy. Okay. Yes. We buying this? Feel a little bit better about it? Yeah. Hells yeah. Let's turn those puppies in. Can you read the stapler, please? Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying please, otherwise I was going to yell at you. Yes. Anybody need a stapler? You want to use that for later? That's fine. For today's homework. So here, take this copy. I got a copy up here. Hang on. I got this. And here's the back side. So just remember how it works. Just bring it in before Thursday's class. Beautiful. A little pile right here. Yes. Or right here. That's fine. Jordan, thank you. I'm going to steal everything right back from you. There we go. I'm going to stay with this now. There we go. When you turn it in, stay stacked to the. Cool. All right. Yes. All right, how are we feeling? I was spirited, I enjoyed that. Spirited discussion. I, please do. Go right at this. Drop, drop. Perfect. I do. I enjoyed math way too much. Um, but I think, nah, yeah, but it's kind of a catch-22. I enjoy math because I see how it's useful in life. I saw that well before I went to school to be a math teacher. So it's not because I'm, it's because I see the utility of it. And part of this course is designed to create a place where we all can see the utility of math. Not just, not just me, I mean, I, I'm convinced. But where all of us can kind of see. I'm not saying you're gonna like it as much as I do. I don't expect anybody to have that disease. But I mean, I want you to be able to at least see the, the usefulness of it as much as humanly possible. Um, even in time flies, Matthias. Even in time flies, I end up using mathematical principles. You tie? Um, a little bit? Yeah. So one of my favorite things to do is to tie flies with as few ingredients as possible. So fly fishing, you make your buy, one or the other, little things called flies. And the flies are designed to do one of two things. They can look like a bug or a mouse or a whatever. You can actually tie a mouse pattern. It's super fun to do, actually. Um, I lost one of a huge large mouth down in Salt Lake uh, this past summer. Or you can tie things that don't look like anything, but the fish hit them. My favorite fly was developed over the past couple of years. It's called an ice cream cone, which I'm sure you've used before. A little white head and a red body. I can tie it with two ingredients now with no thread, which is super fun because I started with like this thing that had five ingredients and worked it down. I'll talk to you at break about how you tie it. It's, you can tie it with literally a vice and a hook and two ingredients, and it kills brook trout. But that's the thing, developing those flies, I start with the pattern, I look it up online, I see what the ingredients are, and I say, I wonder if that ingredient is necessary. So I take one, in when I say ingredient, they're not like food, it's, a, it's like a piece of material, like wire, or a glass bead, or a certain color thread, or epoxy, and I'll take one of the ingredients off, and then go fish it. And if I take that ingredient off and go fish it, and I catch fewer fish, than I did with the ingredient in, my brain goes, okay, maybe that ingredient was important. See what I'm saying? So then I try a different ingredient. Maybe I'll pull the white bead off this time and go to fish it. No, that didn't work. I still didn't, didn't catch many fish. Let me take the epoxy off and go try to fish it. Oh, oh, I caught just as many fish without the epoxy as with. Okay, maybe the epoxy isn't important. That's not. It doesn't feel like it, but you're literally taking things out of an ingredient list one by one and trying to see what works. It's how science gets done. So, applies to fishing too, pretty rad. And it's amazing how much, that's the kind of stuff that I find fascinating. My job is to try to get it to bleed into this class as much as I possibly can. Cool? Yeah. Ready for, okay. I'll take that as somewhat excited, this is 8.30. <coughs> Let's do a warm up. Yes, <coughs> and I'll return some papers. All right, here we go. This warm up is mislabeled. I don't know why it says intro to the metric system. It is simply about fractions. That's it. Fresh. Nor are the intro to the metric system. There's nothing about metric system on here. And Jessica, I'm going to go ahead and pause this because you don't need to hear me hand papers out.